hi so this one is a question we have to do this implement linear queue using operator overloading where plus for inserting data and minus for deleting data i know that all of you have the concept of queue still i am telling you one thing that the concept of linear queue is like this that uh, you know that uh, in uh, railway ticket booking counter cinema ticket booking counter every time the data which will be inserted first that will be deleted first that means here if insertion is in this direction that means from 1 2 3 4 like this so the deletion is also in this direction okay insertion and deletion are in the same direction if i am giving that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like this, inserting the data. So the deletion will be done from this element will be deleted first, this one second, third, fourth, like this. So this is the concept of Q. Now let's see how we can do this using the operator overloading concept. So here I am using DevC++ compiler to write the code. Let's start. When it is a concept of Q, uh, so first we have in mind it has the attribute, the array will be there where we can insert the data and uh, two pointer. We know that two pointers are needed, one for inserting data and another for deleting data. And both will be incremented in the same direction, we know. So first we create the Q classes uh, and the concept of Q is we know that array, the front and rear. These are the attributes. Okay, let's start with writing. First I have to write. class is created the empty class is created I have to insert the attribute here the attribute will be int rear front and int air. Mm. Say I am giving the size of it, I am defining it. Define max 10. So here I am writing. Now, what I have to do, I have to insert the data and delete the data and for insertion, I have to use a plus operator and for deletion, I have to use a minus operator. Okay, then let's start. Operator keyword will be given, then plus, it means it is going to get a new meaning. And as it is a binary operator, we know that one will be implicitly passed and another operand I have to pass. So here I am writing int item, which will be inserted. Okay, no problem. Write it. 
so here it will be I have to check that if here oh just uh, do one thing before doing this one let's initialize the rear and front and for doing this I'm writing this constructor here rear equals to I'm giving it minus one value and front is So if rear equal equal minus 1, that means it is empty, no problem, you can write it rear plus plus and also for this first time, as this is for the first time, the front will also be incremented because from the deletion purpose, it can delete from that location. So here I am writing front plus plus and uh, error rear equals to item okay. next if it is max so better to Equal, equal max overflow overflow else normal case rear plus plus if it is the first time the front and rear both will be incremented if the rear is at max the overflow will be called otherwise it's normal rear will be, rear will be incremented first and then the value will be inserted it's done next if it is uh, if I'm going to delete the item void operator minus the minus is also a binary operator so we need to pass two arguments what can I do one will be implicitly passed for the plus uh, it was easy because uh, I can just uh, send the item which will be inserted but in case of uh, this one the searching is also not needed here ok let's do one thing uh, the total number of deletion how many number the deletion will be done ok so for doing this I am writing three times the deletion will be done fine so we have the condition I have to write the condition if front equal equal you know that minus one then say out underflow else else what will be done front plus plus I'm just writing is ok here I am not uh, returning it you can also return the value front plus plus error the front 
you can also return the value. void display sorry here the total number of time the deletion will be there So here I have to do this uh, thing, use loop, so here I am using do while because otherwise the problem will be if uh, say the number of element is 1 and you want to delete it 2 times. So I need a checking, if it is not minus 1 at least 1 will be deleted, no problem. But if after deletion it, it will just reach to the year. So it's not possible to delete it. So I am writing it. Front plus plus. Make it simple. See out. Deleted. I am just making it simple. And here it will be y mm. first condition that uh, front less than equals to rear and so I am setting one thing i less than equals to c so this times it will be doing the deletion will be done here. I'm writing about it later. Now the display operation will be written and in display operation it will be see out Four. So here it will be from front to rear. Okay, so I'm setting i equals to front i less than equals to rear i plus plus. So our q is written, q class is written. First, this one will be called okay. I'm giving 12 ob dot I'm giving 14. Now, call the display.
Q 12 14 okay fine if I am writing again let OB dot Again, going to split. Okay, now I'm going to delete it. OB dot deletion. First, check that first time deletion will be done. That means one deletion will be done, and you're writing following the display. Check. Q. Deleted. Sorry, it's not working properly. Okay, let's uh, check. It's deleted two times. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to plus the I. I will be implemented also. Now check it. Another one also. Say I am giving that uh, four. What will be there? How many times a deletion will be called? Check. Deleted. Deleted. Times deletion is called. Times deletion is called yeah less than front uh, okay less than rear if it is less than equals to rear now check how many times it will be called three times it will be called so three items will be deleted not able to delete the four item okay so thanks hope you like this video you can share it with your friend and please let me know uh, you really like this video or not any comment or if you have any idea that you can uh, improve the program you can write it in different way please let me know write it in the comment box and you can also share it with your friend okay Thank you.